Hey, I'm Seth with Land the House. Thank you so much for joining me on the Shed Build series. Today, I'm gonna to be sheathing the roof with my good friend, Sam. He's from the Greenacre Homestead. Recently, he has been remodeling his single wide and he's been on the roof, so he has a lot of roof time lately. Uh, he's not enjoying it, but he has offered to help out here sheathing this little shed. So let's go ahead and jump in to this part of the build. Quick disclaimer before we get started. I am not a professional. I am just a homeowner with a YouTube channel making a shed out here in the woods. So enjoy this video for entertainment purposes and contact a professional before you tackle your own project like this. I believe we're gonna start on this side first because all of the ends of the trusses have been marked out at six inches. And so we won't have to worry about cutting those off. The other side, there is some uh, variation in length, so I'll come back and fix that later. The first thing we're gonna do, we're going to be putting some blocks here on the edge of these trusses to stop the OSB from sliding off. And that's what you don't do right there. So I've just got a two by four right here that I'm going to be screwing onto the edge of this truss. And that will just act as a stop block so our OSB won't come rolling back off the shed. Okay, Sam's going to help me get this first piece up here. Whoa. As graceful as possible. Got it? Maybe, because that's, that's my height limit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yep, I think we're good. I think if I were doing this alone, I'd have to use shorter blocks. Nice. You got your drill on you? I don't. What? what? <laughs> Pre-planning, not my strong suit. Uh, can you tell if we're uh, pretty well flush with that end over there? You want it dead on flush? Yes. All right, go your way about a quarter inch. Um, well, actually, there will still be... It's overhang about a quarter inch. Okay. Oh no, I missed. We just got two full eight foot sheets here on the bottom and then it has a four by four on the end and we're gonna be staggering all of this. So on this side right here, we're gonna start with another four by four sheet on this side and have the eight foot pieces going on the other end. So what I've got set up right here is a sheet of OSB that I'll be cutting down to four foot by four foot. Okay, I'm gonna measure out and mark at four foot and then move over to this side and do the same thing. Then use my straight edge to go between those two marks. To make sure there's a proper spacing between each of the sheets, I'm gonna use some of these H clips and they will basically fit onto the previous piece like this 
and will give the proper eighth inch spacing between the top and bottom piece. When Sam first got here yesterday, beautiful day, and as soon as we started working on the roof, it started to rain. So we had to shut it down for a little while. Um, he's gone home, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish up myself here. So I noticed uh, that I did not have quite enough truss space over here. Um, you may be able to see, it's uh, only got about an eighth of an inch on that truss. And that this is because uh, I left too much of a gap on this mid piece here. And then also, if we step up the 12 foot ladder here, I could have probably also come over another uh, eighth of an inch or maybe even a quarter in some of that. Um, anyway, um, so what I want to do is measure that last piece over there and cut it to size. But I'm also going to put a two by four blocking on the other side of that truss to make sure it has plenty of support. So let's do that real quick and we will get this first row totally done before we move on to this next one here. I'm up here next to this truss where you can see my tolerance is very small, not enough to get another piece of this OSB attached. So I just got some two by four here that I'm going to be matching up with the angle of the truss. And hopefully on my next section up here, I won't have to add any blocks, but we'll get to that if it happens. So let me go ahead and get these attached real quick. Okay, let's go ahead and throw this next piece up here. I only have half of the building sheathed so far. Let me show you what we got. So we've got all this right here done on this side all the way down. A slight bigger gap than I was supposed to have here, but it's gonna be okay. 
Over here, I've just got the one sheet down, but this storm is approaching again. It's actually supposed to rain most of the week, and that's why I'm pushing to get this done. So, I have got some TriFlex XT underlayment. It's uh, just an underlayment that goes down on top of this OSB, and it's a waterproof barrier, and it is very sticky, so it should allow me to walk on there uh, with ease. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this rolled out up here on the top, just the, uh, the two strips that we need up here, and we'll do the final uh, strip on the top once this side is done. But I just wanna keep this side of the building from getting too much rain, if at all possible. To get this attached, I've got some of these plastic cap nails. Uh, all I could find was the one inch, so they may stick down just a little bit, but it's gonna be just fine. But that's gonna go in each of these little, well, not each of them, but several of these little spots, and that will allow this to stay down nice and tight. I'm just rolling this out so that it is flat against the roof. I doubt that leaves make a difference, but I'm knocking them off here anyway. So I'm just unrolling this, hoping that I can keep it pretty straight with the uh, previous piece of OSB. Get it all the way to the end, and then I will have to pull a little of it off there and cut it. But uh, for now, we will just put some more of these pop cap or uh, plastic cap nails in. The reason you start with this one first is so that when the second one goes on, it overlaps that one. So water, if it ever gets to this point, will just trickle down until it falls off the roof. I finished getting the OSB on the roof and I'm now working with the last piece of the underlayment. So I now have everything over here done and the first two layers on. So for the ridge cap, I need to put one last piece on here and that is going to have this center line in the middle and I want to make sure I have at least five or six inches hanging over like that. And now I can just roll this one out. I may go ahead and put a couple of these plastic cap nails down to make sure this stays in place. I think I just leave that one in there now while I unroll everything. Yeah, it'll at least keep it from sliding back this way. And I just finished getting the top piece on. It is so nice to have this thing weathered in, at least from the roof now. So the overlap on the top piece is about a foot, and then down there it has about four or five inches overlap. So it has plenty of protection. Thank you so much for watching the OSB and underlayment portion of this shed build. If you are interested in what's going on here, be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you can be updated for the next part in this series. Or if it's been a while, you'll probably see some other things on the channel that are interesting. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.